So I've got a little bit of an inkling what I should expect, but I'm sure there could be a surprise in there as well. I'm, I'm apprehensive. My name, Heaslip, isn't a traditional Irish name. Very, very curious as to where, basically, I come from. That part on me is uh, always question who I am and where I'm from. I've been in London for 10 years and I don't want English DNA at all. Obviously, I'm a, I'm a New Zealander. That's where I was born, that's where I was brought up. Having done the test, it's a bit of expectation there and I'm quite excited, actually. So they battled against one another, shed blood, sweat and tears to get the win for their nation. And my heritage have brought these four legends together to see if they share more in common than just rugby. Today's the day of discovery, gents, and we're here at an iconic rugby club, Blackheath Rugby Club, the oldest rugby club in the world. Um, how do you feel about being here today, Sean? Well, it makes me feel quite at home, actually, because this is the sort of rugby club I was brought up in, yeah. believe it or not. I and mean, for Chris, I mean, it must feel poignant considering what a year it is. Well, he's had it with a huge autumn, of course, coming up with world rugby. I think there's no better place for us to talk about our heritage and the oldest club in, in history. I feel in a privileged position of power, surrounded by very, very powerful men right now. <laughs> You've all um, shown and displayed great leadership skills on the pitch. You've all captained, whether it's your club or your country. That sense of not being in control right now, how are you guys coping with that? Um, I hate it because you're quite <laughs> smug. Has anyone expected any surprises today? Yeah, I, th I am a little bit from the questions you were asking me <laughs> earlier. Because I, like I don't like you knowing and me not knowing. <laughs> well, no, I, I'm quite relaxed because I'm... I'm happy with my own skin, so I'm yes. happy who I am. Yeah. Um, but I'm interested to find out a bit more about, you know, my relatives back a hundred years. Yeah. Be quite nice. Well, you guys have all had incredible careers, established careers, and that's the one thing you've certainly all got in common. We're hoping that we might find out about the things that you do have in common. Yeah. But what's your earliest moments or memories playing rugby? Well, for me, I have to say, uh, I was born in Cameroon. Uh, move uh, from Cameroon to Paris when I was nine, and uh, three years after I discovered rugby. That moment turned my life on another level. Yeah, for me, I've played rugby kind of as long as I can remember. My mum would take me and my brothers down there on a Sunday, wheel spin out the car park and leave us there. Just get a little bit of peace and quiet, I think. <laughs> so it was, uh, but we loved it. It was a place we enjoyed, we found our happiness. We'd play there kind of all morning and go straight home and play in the garden. My early memories, was, it was all about rugby. And in those days, we used to nail our sprigs onto our, our boots. So Dad had this sort of shoehorn thing that we used to sit in front of Dad. Dad would be there reading the paper, keeping an eye on us and drinking his beer. Rugby has always been around me. I have two older brothers who are 10 and 12 years older than me, so I was a rugby ball literally for them for years. Were you a big guy as a youngster? Uh, I don't think, I didn't really sprout till I was maybe about 12 or 13. Should we have a look? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Check out those legs, baby. <laughs> nice of you to bring those pictures up. Here we go. You're welcome. <laughs> when are you going to tell us our DNA was <laughs> I'm just warming up, making everyone feel very comfortable right now. Sean's getting impatient, so we get back to reveal the results. But I just want to know, do you think your DNA tests or your test results are going to show up that you're actually different to the country that you represented for so many years? I totally think so. Yeah. yeah. The way you're asking it and the way we're probably here. I don't know. The way you just yeah. pee that no, no, I'm just interested to understand your reactions before we see I think so. Like you said, being from the UK, I'm sure there's a, a bit scattered around there. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have a whole lot of Celtic in me. OK. Serge? Of course, I definitely believe yes. that, yes, uh, we'll have a huge difference uh, because I was born for sure in Cameroon. Gents, we're going to play a little game to understand a little bit about your DNA. Are you guys ready for this? OK, got some questions on them which I'd like you guys to read out. If you think you know the answer, just, just shout it out. Uh, guess who, eh? Guess who? A game of guess who? One of us is 2.1% East Asian, which includes some Eskimo. Any guesses who? I'm going to say me, because I'm so bloody pale. <laughs> <laughs> no? I think Chris. 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 Okay. You think Chris? I'd be very surprised if that me. The answer is, it's Serge. Oh. <laughs> 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 wow. No. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm really, really, really surprised. <laughs> wow. So are we enjoying this game so far? Yes. OK, it's really good. OK, we're zero from one at the moment. Sean, can we go with your question, okay, please? OK, here we go. Part two of Guess Who? One of you has a true hero in the family, a grandfather. 
who was awarded the British War Medal and the Victory Medal for leading his troops as a Lance Corporal in World War I. Mm, I'm going to go to Jamie. He didn't want to be uh, yeah. English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you mentioned your father was in the yeah, army. Really, in the army. Yeah. My dad was a great, great grandfather. A great grandfather, so I'm going to go for Robbo. Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. sure if my great grandfather won a medal in the war, I'm sure. Uh, you'd know about it. The answer's you, Chris. Is uh, it? The answer oh, is wow. you, Chris. Um, oh, that's impressive, yeah. Your great-grandfather, Richard Edward Carey, 1888 to 1959, served in France during World War I and was wounded in 1915 and again in 1916, which is incredible. Wow. That is incredible, wow. How do you yeah. feel about that? Very proud, actually. It's pretty cool that after doing the My Heritage DNA test and from the research that they've done, that they're able to be able to withdraw and give information, which makes you feel in, in such a proud way about mm. your family. You must be thrilled, Chris. I don't call my mum up and tell her. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if she knows, yeah. So, Jamie, on to you now. Let's do it. 83% Irish, Scottish and Welsh. No English. No, and I love the way that, like, it shows exactly it goes around England and shows no England in me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're most thrilled about. Yeah. Just, <laughs> you could have been anywhere in the world, so long as it wasn't England, you're thrilled. Guess there's nothing overly surprising there. Yeah, I'm obviously got more Celtic in me than I, uh, than I anticipated. Yeah. Shuffle for that, yeah. So my heritage has billions of historical records where you can find information about your ancestors. Your great-grandfather, Joe Whelan, was, uh, was a cooper. Any ideas what that is? Uh, making the caskets. There you go. Yeah. Coopers were That's elite craftsmen yeah. and highly skilled. According to the Guinness website, John Whelan was recognised as the hero of the production of Guinness. Have a look at this image here. Wow. And you know what's funny? My wife works for Diageo, but works for Guinness. No way. Oh. Yeah. That's cool. That's, makes, that's really cool. Yeah, it makes me... I'm going to go have a pint of Guinness. <laughs> and I don't think you should have to pay for it. That's amazing. And like... And like, I keep going back to the process of it, and you've already detailed it. It's like a 30-second swap. I think probably the underlying thing for me is how, how simple it was. Yeah. To actually just do the swab, send it away, and in the space of four weeks, we'll have all this information. Do you feel like taking a heritage tour with us, Sean? Wow. Should we have a look at the video? Yeah. Sean, you, you are... are. 95% Irish Scottish as well. Wow. That's robbed Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, one of the greatest so players that. ever. So you're effectively more Irish than Jamie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Swap polos. <laughs> <laughs> Take it off. Take it off. That's what I find amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That I'm actually more Irish than Jamie. That's crazy. Yeah. It was just bizarre. When you take the My Heritage DNA test, you also receive matches to new relatives who share DNA with you. But Sean, you've got over 6,000 matches from all around the world. 6,000? 6, 6,000. Wow. So on my heritage, we're able to reach out to one of your matches. He's from Nelson, New Zealand, but is currently living in Australia. And he's your first cousin twice removed. Fancy meeting your newfound cousin? Yeah, sure. So, Sean, sure, this is... Hello there, Sean. Hey, it's good to know that I'm actually related to a rugby legend like yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm actually uh, from Nelson. It's good start, wouldn't it? <laughs> 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 he seems absolutely oh. thrilled. Yeah, yeah. he's yeah. literally speechless. He's yeah. like, uh, uh, uh. Well, that's amazing the effect you can have on people who yeah. who are in your family and stuff who never knew. It's incredible. We've spoken a lot about your leadership skills. You've been captain of a su successful All Black side. You may have wondered where those leadership skills have come from. But they're probably inspired by your great-grandmother, Miriam, who was an absolute yeah. powerhouse and pioneer for women's rights in yeah. New Zealand in the United Yeah, soldier. We've actually got Miriam's passport picture here. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Very cool. Very cool. And we've also got photos for you of Miriam's parents. Miriam's parents? So Miriam's parents are essentially your great-great-grandparents. Matthew was born in Ireland, and Annie was born in Scotland. Wow. And where it becomes a little bit more complicated, Matthew was a Catholic, mm -hmm. and Annie was a Protestant. Ooh. They had eight kids. Yeah. Six daughters yeah. and two boys. Wow. 
They made all the girls, all the girls are Catholic, and the boys, and the boys. were Protestant. <laughs> oh my really? goodness. Really? Yeah. Well, and that's how they operated. But amazing bit of history and great to be able to put yeah, that's cool. some, uh, some faces to the names. So that's hence why the 95% Irish yeah. Yeah. is because of, of these two. Serge, yourself. Yes. Okay, let's have a look at yours. This is the entrance to Bazu Chieftaincy, a commune in Cameroon, which is home to the Bamileki people. Your father and grandfather were chiefs in these communities, so leadership mm -hmm. is an obvious quality which has been right throughout your heritage. How do you feel about that? Because the Eskimo was a little bit of a wild card. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've kind of brought it back a little bit. But that's cool. I mean, you see a picture like that and that's where your grandfather and father like lived. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I knew, I knew a little bit about that, uh, but um, I, I didn't really know much. I, I never grew up with him. Uh, I, I knew who, who he was, but I never lived with him. And uh, I'm really pleased to, to see that. And uh, the, the beauty of uh, my heritage is just to, to get a little bit of uh, a certainty of who I am and get to know my past history. So guys, what have you made of this process from the swab to the research to discovering birth certificates to medals to Sean's more Irish than Jamie, which I think is the one takeaway from all of this? It kind of blows me away. I just still can't wrap my head around it all. Well, I'm glad you've kind of come along this journey with me. Gentlemen, thank you very much. It's been an absolute pleasure. Fun. Thanks. Cheers. Thank you, Hugo. Thank you. I'm just going to start exploring even further. I'm going to start building the family tree and meet some new cousins. In rugby, we used to say, in order to look forward, you have to look back first. It's a nice way to look back before I move forward the next generation. To put all the pieces together and actually get a bit of concrete, this is where you're from. Now I feel a lot more whole. To have all that information, to go back home to see my kids and tell them where I'm from and, and who I am.